Chanas. Like, what the hell? That's not even, well, these actually technically go here. But look, there's a Luke. A storm shadow just sitting here. Huh. What's the point of this? Oh, look at that. They have an elite here. Nice deal. Two uh, here. Retro figures. No Marvel Legends. That's not surprising. All those Ghostbusters are still up there. Back at Target. This. All right. So, not sure what we're going to be finding here. Uh, it's already been a week after the, the sale. Now there's a new one. I spend fifty bucks or more. I get ten dollars off. Hundred dollars or more. Twenty-five dollars off. But we'll see what's out here. Maybe they got in Thomas Wayne. Little squirrel girl. No. Nothing there. Oh my god, that's gonna clearance out soon. And no, still the same there. That's what we got here, Star Wars. So no Mandalorian either. And wow, wrestling is completely cleared out. Unbelievable. So they made the end cap finally. That's all they got. Storm and negative zone. Um, what is this? Popples? Oh, I remember these guys now. Okay. Uh, Sugar Rocky. Oh, there's a Halo figure. Chapter 2. Which one was this? Oh my god, look at you. And, oh, oh look, Rogue. Rogue is here, just hiding, sitting out. <laughs> there you go. Free for the taking. So, look at this. They have Dishonored. Dishonored 2, I mean. And Rainbow Six, $5.99, that's awesome. Madden 18, good lord. Titanfall 2, FIFA 18. What is this? Two Point Hospital? What the hell is that? Skyrim. Somerset. Uh, I guess that's it. Best Buy. Look at this. Got the atmosphere armor there. Uh, oh wow, we got Stain and Tenya. And a lot of other stuff. Oh, I see it now. There's Taskmaster. And look at all of this. Can you believe that? 40 bucks. And they got NECA here now, too. There's some more down there. So yeah, that's just crazy. So they do have this. <laughs> Nothing here that I'm looking for. Check this out. A Ghost Rider, look at that, Cosmic Ghost Rider, with some, this is Marvel Legends right there, 
Look at that wild child. Haven't seen that in a while. There's another Taskmaster. Pops. And I got lucky here with a chase a long time ago. There's really nothing else here. I think yeah. there's so much dust on top of that. <laughs> Good smile. Look at that, 30 bucks right there. Well, wasn't expecting some snow, but we still got to go out anyway. So, what's up, guys? How is everyone doing? Uh, I, you can hear an echo. This is an empty room. It's a messy room because I'm actually doing some work. I'm actually peeling off, well I already did, I already peeled off the top layer of a wallpaper. Now I'm getting the other layer. Trust me, it was the most difficult thing. I know I scored it, I did everything. If you guys have ever removed wallpaper, it's the worst thing in the world. And it is unbelievable. So I'm working here. This is a, if you, a lot of you don't know this, I'm actually, <clears throat> I have a few homes. So one of my, my tenants... Uh, actually exited their lease so I have to clean it all up because it was a flipping mess and I was really pissed someone's not getting their security deposit uh, <laughs> we are cleaning this up the wallpaper that was originally here was destroyed so as you can see I already took most of it down on that side uh, but yeah it is snowing right there uh, I don't know if it's going to really lay or stick, but we're over here in Pennsylvania, so we're going to just see what we can do. I still got to do some grocery shopping anyway, but we're going to head to Walmart anyway. Um, see what's there. I am still looking for Joe Fix-It Wave. Uh, I did order one of them through Best Buy, and I only got it for 10 bucks, so that's awesome. Uh, I don't know if it'll come in this week or next week because it was only for in-store pickup. Uh, in which they have to ship it to the store. So eh, whatever, I'm gonna deal with that anyway. Uh, so that might be next week's video. But this week, we're gonna look for the Joe Fix-It Wave anyway. So looking for Falcon and Kang. Hopefully, we can find one, both. Um, I wanna finish that wave off so we can keep it moving. Uh, but I do, I am getting some packages this week, so we will get to that. And I think that might be it. As far as it goes, Christmas is almost coming, so I hope you guys have done all your shopping, at least online shopping. I've done most of that already, so that's why I'm getting packages every day. Uh, but I hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are healthy. Let's go. Oh, I'm going to finish this up first, and then we're going to go to Walmart. So I will see you there. Okay, real jack. Who else is here? Bumblebee. Shockwave. Soundwave. Why did I say shockwave? My god. And then. Uh, up there. Oh my god. Look at this. And all of those. The two cases. Black Industro. No Scarlet. That's cool to see. That. And Destro. Legends. Oh, so they have more. Oh, they got Falcon. And it's beat up. Maybe someone was trying to steal the leg. I'll take it. I'm still gonna, still gonna open it anyway. Uh, Rage. All the Mystiques and Dominoes are there. And then when it comes to Batman, oh look, Hellbat's there. 
nothing else. So I came to FYE because my friend Jimmy saw a sale. And look what I'm finding. I'm actually finding Devastator for the first time. And a wasp. Look at that, there's a Soka. First time seeing this one too. Oh my god. Oh. All those legends up there too. And sale-wise. Oh, there's a Thor. They have the rebels here too. Wow. That's crazy. And look at these. Clearance. Yeah, nothing. Oh well, it's cool to look at this stuff. Look at this. Buy two, get one free. And there's also these $2.99 prices. That's crazy. $2.99 is actually an awesome deal for Pops. And so it all depends if there's a character that you like, which are really nice. I had never been to this Ollie's before. I uh, no idea what to expect. So we are in the toy aisle, I guess. They got these little statuette things. Look at that. They have these guys going on. Um, anything? Oh, look at this. Cassia, $3.99. They got the resistance figures. A lot of matchbox. And those Marvel Hot Wheels right there. Uh, wow. <laughs> you don't see Boomerang very often. There's Rick Flag and Steve Trevor. $12.99, that seems a bit high. They got the three and three quarter inches here too. What's twelve ninety-nine? Uh, da -da -da. Twelve ninety-nine. Really good for civilian. I might pick it up. These guys, five ninety nine. Here's the sign for it, and there's another one. This one looks better. On the other side, they got the basic figures. Do you remember these guys? Those basics right there. Uh, I don't know what light seekers are, but they're all over the place. Check that out. They have the, the board game with the Tarkin vintage figure. $7.99. Wow. For anyone that collects the vintage collection. And to check the trade paperbacks look at that Unchained $5.99 100 Greatest Moments hmm oh wow that's cool $7.99 right there there's so much it's unbelievable Yep. 
What's up, guys? How's it going? Ah, uh, we were out a lot this week. It was it was good, um, and that's all because of you know my opening of clip where I was at my my other house that I I kind of mortgage out, lease out, whatever you want to call it, rent out. <laughs> um, it's going well. Uh, as much as I wanted that wallpaper gone, it's gone now. Room is done. Now I'm just, you know, refurnishing cabinet doors and stuff like that. And I'm going to put in a new flooring. Yeah, it's, it's so much stuff. So such is the life, I guess, of being a homeowner. Um, especially having more than one home to deal with. Uh, but it is getting close to Christmas. Uh, we are narrowing it down to just a little bit more of the gifts that I need. Honestly, I, I still need a gift for my mom and dad. So I'm, I'm still trying to figure that out. I mean, for what, what else can I give my parents? Honestly, there's, it's nuts. It's, I we think we're down to the point where it's just like giving cash or gift cards to each other. That's really what it is. Uh, but we were out completely uh went to places that it's been a while of course uh and we will go over that so here we go it's another haul of stuff and i have five yeah like five packages here which i'm extremely excited about so this is really awesome and we will go through that and i'm hoping you guys had a good week of picking up your stuff at stores um getting stuff in the mail whatever uh, it was a good week. So first off, uh, we were at Best Buy and I was actually surprised to see some some items at Best Buy because honestly, it's been a very long time since I've been at Best Buy. But I did have uh, an online order for in-store pickup in which I do have to go back to Best Buy next week because I should have two orders that I'll be picking up and they are Marvel Legends. So hopefully... Uh, those orders go through perfectly, which they should. They should be, and I and like I said, uh, they're for in-store pickup, so I'll be picking those up. But what I did pick up right here from Best Buy uh, was because I had one of those reward coupons. So I picked this one up because it was already on sale. Oh, this sticker, sticker right on it. It was already on sale for like 12 bucks, I think it was. So I got it for 8 bucks. And I have it for my Xbox, but I wanted it for my PS4 because my brother has a PS4 and we play this game a lot. So Tekken 7. Uh, I, I enjoy this very much on my Xbox, but now me and him can play online together. So this is the whole point of getting it for the PS4. So eight bucks, not bad, not really cool. Love Tekken. Um, if you guys play Tekken, let me know. If you guys play any fighting games, let me know because I love playing my fighting games. I'm not as good as I was back in like grade school, high school, college, but you know, I can still hold my own. So we got Tekken 7 right there. Uh, Walmart pickups. So Walmart, um, as you saw, and I did miss out on it at Target, so luckily Walmart had it. And it, it's fine. I'm good with it. But I am actually happy uh, with picking it up because I don't collect WWE as often. But I will, I will pick up the characters that I enjoy the most. Um, and I'm more geared towards the female characters. So, you know. <laughs> but uh, this female character was Io Shirai from NXT. I wish it, I wish it came with the NXT belt, um, women's championship belt. But this has an incredible face sculpt of Io right there. Uh, it's got a soft goods jacket of, of this hoodie, which could be utilized for any other figures that I have. So that's really cool. But I'm I'm actually it's really cool to have Io Shirai for my NXT because she can go right with my my Ruby Riot and my other you know women's division uh, figures that I have, which I do have more women women female uh wwe figures than male so uh it's it's nice to see you know the more uncommon characters created because i i've said this before for um wwe figures it's it's like you will see 
like Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins and Randy Orton. You will see them over and over and over again. Um, and I'm just glad, you know, that we'll get female characters that look great because, you know, the new face tech is amazing. So uh, the other one I picked up was Falcon. So this Falcon, actually, the paint is actually isn't bad, but the shoulders, you can see a lot of the red poking out, um, out, out of the white. The wing is loose here. And like I saw it earlier, there is a tear in here. So I know what was going on. They were trying to take the the leg of fix it right here. And it's funny because as often I was out, I've been to Target more times than I should have. I think I've been to Target every day. I didn't record every day, but it was funny because I did see Falcon. Um, they got another wave of, of fix it. So I missed out on Kang, um, but they did get a Falcon in and someone tore the exact same hole here and was able to rip out the fix it leg. So that sucked. Um, especially for anyone that's going to pick it up and I hope they can see it, but that's, that sucks guys. Seriously. Um, I understand, you know, you want it, you want it, just buy the figure, Jesus. Um, but the leg is still in here. This guy probably got scared or couldn't get to it. So that bath piece is still on here. So I don't care. I'm going to open the figure, build Mr. Fix it, and we are good to go. So, uh, we do need Jocasta and Kang left in this wave. So there you have that. Um, I did also get something that I already have, but I would love to have them as extra figures for civilians because I was at the Ollie's, an Ollie's that I've never been to, but I've always known it was there. Uh, so now I was just like, let's let's take a look inside. They actually had quite a bit of stuff. I was going to pick up a lot of trade paperbacks at Ollie's. They had some great deals on them, but I I just, I didn't pull the trigger this time. I was just like, you know what? I'm going to pick this alone and we'll work from there. So I did pick up the Luke Cage two-pack, Luke Cage and Claire Temple. So $12.99 price, as you saw when I was at the store. And these are great for just being civilian figures and i i think that would work well for you know any diorama pieces that i will you know somehow just throw out of nowhere so uh and this is a great you know body to to work with you can change the heads because all the female heads actually use the same ball pegs from marvel Legends. so i'm actually excited about it so i'm actually great to pick this one up so uh I, I I know I'm going to use it for civilian, but in the event that I do not, I wouldn't mind trading it for anyone that may need it. So I'll just keep that in mind. We'll see. Uh, so now on the packages, very excited. Like I said, so first one is is a one-off. This one right here is a comic book. Uh, this was from Eastside Comics. East side is literally an hour away from me, but I don't believe they have a storefront. This is really just like online. Uh, and this drove me nuts because this was, I believe this is punchline issue number one, uh, variant cover by Natalie Sanders. Now, I, and I think, I swear this one, they said it was supposed to come out on November 17th or something, and then it got, delayed so they informed me that it got delayed which was fine and then they shipped it out and from what i know yeah see they shipped it out on november 27th and it for a place being an hour away post office i don't know what the hell i don't know what kind of route they have but it went all the way to new jersey why and came back to philadelphia in order to come to where I live, which is terrible. I, I don't get it. I, honestly, I forgot what this cover looks like because it's been that long um, since I pre-ordered it. Uh, but when it comes to Natalie Sanders, she does beautiful work and I have no problem with uh, buying her stuff. Wow, there's more tape, Jesus. Uh, so let's hope 
everything looks good and it should because it's it was shipped perfectly fine uh there was no bends in the packaging it shouldn't have any bends in the packaging but you never know what you're going to get from you know the post office as you will see from fedex later on uh yeah so let's see here we go and there you have it so there is punchline number one that is perfect there are no spine ticks whatsoever everything looks awesome so that's punchline number one by variant cover by natalie sanders that's awesome you know what let me get the other the other book that i got from east side so this was the other one that i got if you guys remember so this was the harley quinn number 75 by natalie sanders and here is punchline so she does these really cool covers they're like a play on of like uh like uh fashion fashion magazine covers so that looks incredible this is awesome what a great cover by natalie sanders so there we have that um next box okay next box so this is from uh dean dean uh he actually had uh he posted up on facebook marketplace or well, not the syndicate uh facebook group uh the buy sell trade uh page for the syndicate and he had some storm collectibles um at a good price uh 60 bucks so it's not bad especially for this figure and thank you dean if you watch my videos i hope you see this so uh dean uh had this available i messaged him he still had it paid him through paypal everything went well so here it is it is a storm collectibles street fighter 5 m bison which is the this is the costume that i wanted uh as much as we all adore, you know, the original costumes of Street Fighter, I have been collecting the alternate costumes because I think they're incredible. I love them. But this one, same idea. Same idea. So it's we got the like black coat with the gold um, armor costume. So there is the back of it. That's what it looks like. This is a cool ass costume. I I think it's great. So I love having these alternate costumes for my Storm Collectibles Street Fighter figures, because it it's more of like a talking point in, in a way. And I I just love how there's different styles that you can create, it, especially with Storm Collectibles, because they come in different faces. So this is great. This is heavy. This is a big figure. So thank you, Dean. Appreciate it. This is going to go right in detail with the rest of the Street Fighter figures. So happy to have that big box. So this is a big box. Uh, this was a Mercari purchase. Why not? Because I have credit. Uh, Mercari, this seller, what an awesome deal. This deal was for 40 bucks. Uh, and it is a Kotobukiya. Uh, there you go. It's a Kotobukiya statue. So you see that Batman and Wonder Woman right there? That is the, the Jim Lee Kotobukiya statues. I was able to get this. Like I said, it was a great deal, 40 bucks. Awesome. Never been open, so it's brand new. I'm excited about it. Uh, these have been out for several years now, but they, they're not in production anymore, of course. And it was, they're still very difficult to find. Technically, I did find one and it was at my local comic book shop, but it was still, they were selling it at, you know, the regular retail price of like 110 bucks. And I was like, ah, I'm not, I'm not ready to pay that amount. But for 40 bucks, extremely ready to pay for 40 bucks. Uh, so here it is. So this goes along, like I said, goes along with the Jim Lee Kotobukiya statues or Kotobukiya, either however you want to say it but it is the flash. So these are like a one seventh scale, I wanna say. It could be a one six scale, um, but they're, they're pretty big statues. 
Uh, he did say that the box was kind of, you know, mangled in there, but it was never open. So it's, um, it's still great. So here is the flash right there. That is how he looks right there. There's Barry Allen. Boom. See, now there is the ensemble that I'm trying to recreate. So I do have the Batman. I have the Wonder Woman. There's Flash. Superman, incredibly hard to find. If I could find that Superman, I'd be extremely happy. Uh, and I know there's a Green Lantern as well. So it, I'm really excited about this because I love my Kotobukiya statues. And to have this one to go up there, that's going to be awesome. So this is great. Love it. Another good find on Mercari. Guys, if you love to at least try to get some good deals, just check out my Mercari link because I think you guys get like 10 bucks off your first purchase. So <laughs> why not? I, I, You guys know every video I have, I have at least like two or three Mercari purchases. So it's awesome. Uh, check this out. Check this video out. What the, right? I was extremely pissed and I wasn't even at home. So my wife calls me and all I hear is, she says is, I have bad news. Uh, and I'm like, okay, what's going on? And then I hear my daughter screaming um, at the same time, telling me that the mailman threw my package. And I'm like, are you kidding me? What? <laughs> I was like, let, let me see it. And we do have the camera. That's why I have that, the house camera. And I was like, Jesus Christ. And it wasn't even like an authorized FedEx vehicle. So it could be like outsourced for, you know, extra help, which I, I understand completely. But that package was my Mezco package. It, I presented that video on my Instagram. So if you guys are following me on my Instagram, you guys already saw that video and have commented on it. So yeah, every, oh my God, it was nuts. Um, but knowing Mezco, I know they package their products very, very well. So I, I wasn't worried yet until I got home and everything was fine. So here it is. Here's the Mezco box, very firm, sturdy. My wife said there was some rattling but the only thing that I could recreate the rattling sound was because the postcards and stuff that they and the stickers that they have that they included in the box were inside the box and they did rattle. So the figure itself is everything. Everything is okay. So it was packaged very well. So here's the black. If you're familiar with Mezco, you're familiar with the black um, packaging. We do have another Micro Mezzets. I hope it's not one of the, I hope it's not this guy again, because if it is, then that's my third one. And that, there you go. That's what he looks like. But oh well, I, I have a third one. Yeah, it, it, yeah. <laughs> uh, we have the postcards and a Mezco sticker. Oh, this is a yellow one or a gold one. So I have a gold one and a silver one now. Uh, and here is what I ordered. Uh, this was a exclusive Mezco drop on their website. Um, thank you, Ryan Laserpants81, for contacting me about this because I wasted more money to get another Gomez figure. What the hell? Uh, but no, I'm happy about it. Thank you, Ryan. I appreciate you letting me know because if you didn't tell me, I would have never known about it. Um, I would have missed it completely. Uh, I don't know how you get the announcement so quickly, <laughs> but here we go. So this is the... It's a Ninja Gomez, and I forgot what it was called got all this tissue paper there we go. ah that's what it's called clan of the crimson dragons so we have a technically a red ninja gomez uh this is a like a gold gomez colored with the red eyes um which look at him face off against the black gold 
ninja which boom i have right here so yeah we're gonna work with that uh unboxing art wanted me to take some pics of those two fighting so we will figure that one out oh, man, i'm going long on this one uh but yeah there's there's the inside i'll probably do an unboxing showcase for this one uh and i am excited about this one this looks awesome we will see some similarities and some differences but yes another mezco uh and another and a gomez for that matter i think technically yeah technically that's my first gomez figure because the black one is a skull that's a gomez that's actually better so uh hey thank you uh, um i'm happy now this last package uh i'll i'll kind of give you some history about it so this package is directly from pro alio um please go ahead and check out their his website he is an amazing friend is he's he watches my channel so me and him talked a couple times um especially during uh new york toy fair earlier in the year in february so um but i did go and check out his site uh this past month uh and he was still holding pre-orders for a particular mezco figure that i wanted to pick up but i knew i missed out on and a pro alio he definitely still had the pre-order. I, I hit him up on Messenger. Um, he said he was still going to get some in. Um, he told me just put the pre-order in and everything went well. And I got it. Perfectly awesome. So if you guys are still looking to, you know, need another avenue that you were unable to get some figures, such as Marvel Legends, Black Series, um, Mezco in particular, go ahead, check out his website. It's a great guy to talk to so go ahead follow him on instagram you will you won't regret it so here is the box he had to use a big box that i know was covered in some ebay stickers unless he has ebay tape so <laughs> whatever uh but this is what i ordered from pro alio if it's a big big box and i am extremely happy to have this figure uh, this is a Mezco figure. Thanks again, Art. Thank you, Rick. Really do appreciate it. We have Black Bolt. Oh my goodness. And Lockjaw, of course, Lockjaw. So this is a Mezco figure. This is a big box for Mezco. This is a, this is a huge box for Mezco. Uh, I'm not used to that because I'm used to their regular you know size boxes but what we got going on is we got a lot of bubble wrap that i gotta get through so that's better look at that the inhumans black bolt and lockjaw so i don't see anything else i think we just gotta open this up just to kind of get a look and see what's happening in here uh which more than likely i will do an unboxing showcase for it and as we know, oh, I see. What, so we got all this slipcover stuff. And is there anything else that's... No? No? Yes, maybe? No, it's all artwork. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's all artwork on the inside. So we will have to bust this open at one point. Uh, yeah, I'll do an unboxing showcase for this one. But just like I said, check out Pro Alio. If you need some things, I'm sure he'll have it available. But thank you guys so much. Definitely appreciate it. Much longer video than I thought it's going to be because, you know, the hunt and all that stuff. But again, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you to Pro Alio for that. Thank you to Mercari. Oh, so much good stuff. Really awesome. But make sure I hit the like button. Comment. Let me know what you guys liked. Let me know what you guys have been finding. Really do appreciate your time watching the video. Hit subscribe if you're new. Check out my videos. I'm going to try and do a lot more stuff going on. So again, always appreciated. I hope to see you guys soon. Hope to see you on the next time.